Previously on Banjo Tooie. Oh my god, he just fired his laser! Welcome to the world of Maya Hen Temple. Okay, so we have a warp pad, which is similar to those warp silos that we found earlier. Oh, there's another Jinjo. This one is part of the Blue family. So far, doing pretty good. We started two Jinjo families. We have our first Jiggy. I'm ready for this game to get started. I don't know about you guys. Oh, look, a honeycomb piece. Yeah, like I figured, though, we can't get in there. Oh, we will, though. We'll find a way. We'll find a way, and it'll be oh so good. Let's get some more gold feathers while we're here, though. Okay, uh, they did make a little change in this game with how they deal with notes. Notes actually appear in sets of five. And they don't open note doors in this game. They actually uh, have a different purpose, which we'll find out later. Also, look, we have a mumbo pad. This mumbo pad. Mumbo stand on it to perform great magic. Okay, well, we'll keep that in mind. Hey, get your sorry hide over here and press B. Geez, someone's touchy. Who the hell are you? Drill Sergeant Jamjar is reporting for duty, sir. Banjo, get a load of this bozo. He looks like Bottles in uniform. Of course I look like Bottles, you punk. He's my brother. How's the geek keeping anyhow? Not too good. Recently deceased at the hands of Grunty the Witch. Sorry to hear that, Flea Bell. Did he go out fighting? Playing cards, actually. Typical. So you'll be wanting to learn some of my special moves to get even with the witch, huh? Not really. Bottles taught us loads in the last game. Puh. He only knew novice moves. You'll get nowhere without my advanced techniques. Sounds good to us, Jam Jars. Why not teach us a few now? Not that easy, punk. You gotta prove your sorry selves first by collecting me a few notes. Come back if you can find enough. Hey, wait a minute. I see you've got enough notes for my first lesson. Listen and learn, you punks. What you need is an aim in sight. Hit the target, then you might. First person view by pressing C up. Hit Z to fire with accuracy. That didn't really rhyme, but um, I guess there's not a lot you can rhyme with C up. So I guess I'll give him a pass on that one. To be fair, though, there are instances where, like, the rhymes end with the Z button, but they actually use the pronunciation Z, which is how you pronounce Z in a few different languages, so... Makes sense, I suppose. But for now, we have some more exploring to do. And yeah, we can actually, uh... Aim our eggs in first person view now, which is kind of cool. It's going to be very handy, not going to lie. But what do we have up here? This temple seems important, but I'm not going to go in yet. I think we should explore the back of the temple. If I can actually move properly. Okay, we have a ramp. Nice, nice, very nice. And look, there's our first Jiggy already. So yeah, this is the first level, so the Jiggies aren't going to be too uh, 
freaking complicated, but compared to Banjo Kazooie, the Jiggies are a lot harder to find. Remember in like Mumbo's Mountain in the first game, like there were just Jiggies sitting on the floor waiting to be picked up, like voila, so. Oh, who do we have over here? Look at the state of poor Bovina's field. This plague of filthy flies is scoffing my crops. Oh dear, how can we help? Get rid of those pesky flies, of course. Say your prayers, flies! We have egg aiming abilities, and we can use them to get rid of these nuisances. Ah, getting used to using the egg aiming again. I am playing this on the Nintendo 64. I could have played it on the Xbox 360, but eh. I like the 64 version a little better. Amazing! I could hardly believe you Wheatley sorted those flies. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> well, I guess I do. Thank you for the jiggy. <laughs> oh, I love when people use puns like that. It's amazing. I corn hardly believe you did that. Good sirs. Okay, well before I uh, do anything else... Oh yeah, here it is. Uh, this is a treble clef. A treble clef acts as 20 notes, and we've already collected all the notes in this world. Wow, that was fast. Not that I'm surprised. Like I think I mentioned before, uh... This is the first level, so nothing's going to be super out of the way complicated or anything like that. I am a little curious, though, because I feel like there's stuff I'm missing on the sides here. Yeah, there is, but I think I need something else first anyway, so it's cool. Uh, we'll be back. We'll be back. No, no. I don't need to hear what signposts do. Oh, they give us information. Big frickin' deal. What are you gonna tell me next? That the grass is green? That's totally what they're gonna tell me next. I can already tell. Well, let's go ahead and see what's over here now. We have another temple. A temple with snake mouths. Let's make them go om nom nom. Because that's just something you do when you have snake mouths. Ooh, treasure chamber. What's up with you? It's terrible. I can't find Target Zan's favorite priceless relic thingy. I think it may have been stolen. Tough luck. We don't care. Help Chief Blodizen find it and I'll reward you with a jiggy. A jiggy? Well, in that case... Great, I'll open the other door for you, but please hurry. Actually, I don't know if I can do this either. I think I need, uh, once again, I need to get some, uh, other moves before I attempt this, but might as well find out what's going on, I guess. It's always a good thing, I suppose. Well, the only other thing we have to visit here is, uh, Mumbo's skull. Let's see what Mumbo can do for us in this game. In the last game, he, uh, he could transform us into, uh, a lot of different creatures and animals and stuff. Hell, he even freaking turned us into a freaking pumpkin. I wonder what he can do this time. Oh, what's this? You've caught a Globo! They're supposed to have magical powers. Well, good thing we're inside Mumbo's skull. He could probably use it. Ah, Baron Bird here at last. Mumbo best shaman in game, so built new skull. Mumbo also want to help. 
but must find me magic creature. We've got a Globo. Must give magic creature to Mumbo if want help. Want Mumbo's help? Yes, I do. Sure, we need all the help we can get. Throw it in Mumbo's bag. Okay. What are you gonna do? Ah, Mumbo get to be hero at last. Press B to see Mighty Shaman Zapstick. Return me to my chair when want to be Baron Bird again. Oh, we actually get a control Mumbo in this game. Excellent. I really like Mumbo. He was one of my favorite characters in Banjo-Kazooie, and he's already... Well, not already. He's always been, like, one of my favorite characters in this game, too. Mumbo, you, you, just, you just gotta love Mumbo. Mumbo's awesome. Also, he can swim. Good job, Mumbo, for learning how to swim. You're not like other cavemen who just skip that lesson when they're growing up. Well, let's see this magic in action, shall we? Hope this works! Oh boy. Mumbo magic make Golden Goliath rise. Magic only last short time. To control me again, return statue to its base and press B. Well, we probably don't need to do that, but... There's a few things we need to do with this statue before we can progress. Let's, uh, kick open a door. Or at least kick a hole inside of a door. You can also kill these things, too, if you want, but uh, there's actually a lot of stuff you have to do before the transformation runs out, so I wouldn't waste so much time on getting rid of the statue, guys. Uh, you also want to get rid of this rock. Kick open this door. And hopefully we can do this in time. I think we can do, though. Hey, look, another Jinjo. But there is a Jiggy here. But again, before we run out, there's one more thing we need to bust open. Oh god, are we going to be able to make it? Yes! Perfect! Mumble magic, run out! Well, that's okay, because we did everything we need to do with the Golden Goliath, so good job, Mumbo. Yeah, most of the Mumbo sections are going to be very, very short, and you're not going to need to use them very much, but still. They're a lot of fun, and I'm glad that they actually inserted these into this game. I kind of wish for uh, future Banjo-Kazooie games, assuming that they do make more Banjo-Kazooie games, that they kind of expand on Mumbo a little more. But, I don't know, his role is pretty good in this game, I will admit. Plus, I love that he has his... Yes, his little zap stick here. <laughs> Mumbo has big stick! I turned you into an octopus! No, it didn't work. Eh. I guess his uh, magic is, can only be used for good. Or for making giant statues run around and destroy things. But in a way, isn't that good for the human race to have that happening? Hey, it will allow us to actually deal with our issues and uh, not be babies about a lot of things. 
But for now, let's go ahead and venture inside this room now that we can actually access it. God, is that another purple Jinjo? Listen up to what you're told. On the edges you can now hold. Move along with the greatest of ease. Button B to attack when you please. That'll be all. Dismissed. Ouch. That had to hurt. So yay, now we can grab on the ledges. One of the, uh... Abilities I kind of wish existed in Banjo-Kazooie. I always hated how he could never do that, but... He can in this game, and that makes everything better. It's very vital, too. It's more vital than you think it would be. Also, here we are in the, uh, Jade Snake Grove. You guys are probably wondering where the Jade Snake Grove gets its name. We'll find that out shortly, but for now, let's check out this room. This is actually the Code Chamber. This is uh, when we uh, collect Cheeto pages where we come to actually input the codes. Kind of like the uh, Sand Castle uh, floor in Banjo-Kazooie, but... We don't have a Sand Castle floor in this game, we have a wall. A wall with letters. Which, hey, that's alright with me. Oh god, nope, 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 nope. Gotta make sure I hold on to the Z button. Now we can uh, see what's over here. Because I believe there's something we're gonna want to collect. Yes, we have a Cheeto page. Every level has three Cheeto pages. Uh, they also have three honeycomb pieces. Five Jinjos, ten Jiggies, a hundred notes, and uh, there are special moves, but those vary from level to level. This one has three, so we still have another one to find. Anyway, this snake up here has a Jiggy. Thought you steal slumber's gold while he slipped, did you? Well, yes, to be honest. But I heard you coming, clumsy bear. Oh. Well, looks like this is going to be one of those. And I always freaking hate these little missions where you have to sneak and try to grab something because... It's just really hard, and even if you, like, lightly tap the control stick, it's never a guarantee that it's going to work. You literally have to find the slowest way you can walk. And not move your finger for the longest time. And if you stop... You have a lot of pressure trying to get your buttons back into place. But we got it, okay. Woo! That was kind of stressful, not gonna lie. I, again, I really hate those sneaking games. Worst part is, we're not even done with those kinds of missions. We'll still have some. Also, what do we have over here? We have a uh, wigwam. Oh, we have another one of those globo creatures. Let's see what's inside here. Wumba's wigwam. Be keep welcome to Little Bear and Bird. I'm Banjo and my feathered friend is Kazooie. Me Humba Wumba, best magic person on island. We heard that Mumbo was the best. 
Not true. Mumbo amateur. Wumba best. You bring Globo magic creatures here. You have Globo? Want to give to Humba? Yes. Sure, I'll just throw it in. Magic ready. Jump in Wumba pool. And here is the replacement for what uh, Mumbo did in the first game. Humba will allow us to change into different creatures and monsters. But we're not going to do that yet. I'm going to do that when I'm ready. And right now, I'm not quite ready. So we're going to go to Mumbo's skull. or Let's go to the entry and exit first. The reason why is because we have a flight pad now that I want to use. Don't have a lot of feathers, but this will do. Another freaking purple one? We've collected half of the family of eight already, and we've barely even started this project. <laughs> I mean, not that I'm complaining, but wow. That's got to be some kind of record. Oh, so yeah, I'm doing this as mainly a shortcut. You could definitely get up here another way, but... Again, I felt like doing the shortcut. 